This is the Sunto Spartan Trainer Wrist HR. And it's probably the best triathlon watch of the year, especially at the price. My name is Justin, you're on Justin Does Triathlon, and this is a full review of the latest and probably greatest from Sunto. Overall, it's great, that's the short version. There is one thing that I really don't like about it, but we're gonna talk about all of that here in a second. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The Sunto Spartan Trainer Wrist HR, which I'm just gonna call the trainer from now on, is Sunto's newest GPS watch in their Spartan lineup, which had the Ultra and then the Sport. The Ultra was almost a thousand, the Sport's currently about 500. This guy comes in at about $280 for the plastic trimmed version or about $330 for the metal. This is a true GPS heart rate multi-sport watch. So whether you're looking to do triathlon or canoeing or kayaking or mountain biking, whatever, this guy can pretty much track it. It has a heart rate monitor built in so you don't need to wear the strap and it'll do 24 seven activity monitoring and heart rate monitoring and sleep monitoring as well as all of your athletic sports. So super feature packed device. Physically, this watch shares more in common with the old Ambit series from Sunto rather than the Spartan series. The display is full color. It's about the size of a quarter and it has five buttons around the side. With that said, let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna talk first about the design of the watch and then we'll talk about the actual functionality that I've experienced and how well it actually works as a watch. So this is generally a smaller watch in the realm of GPS watches. It's still fairly large, but it is smaller than the Spartan sport or ultra which is great especially if you're like me and you have fairly small wrists. Sunto has gone back to using five buttons on this watch which is kind of similar to the Ambit series so having those physical tangible buttons that you can press I think is a really good move and I'm happy they went back to them. The display on this is full color and it will actually display five data fields on it now so you can show five different metrics at one time. So you can get a lot of information all on the single screen of the watch, which is a big improvement versus the Ambit, for instance, which could only show three. The trainer does have a built-in heart rate monitor on the back of the watch as well. It's made by Valencell, generally regarded as one of the better heart rate monitors. Generally, my experiences with it were really good. Sunto is really upfront and it's pretty well known though. Wrist-based heart rate is not quite as accurate as having an actual chest strap. So if you need the high precision and really quick responsiveness, like if you're doing a lot of high interval work, picking up a chest strap might be a good move. But for the majority of people, having it built into the watch makes that possible. And with the design out of the way, let's move into the functionality of the watch. In short, it works really, really well. The user interface is quick, the GPS reception is fantastic, and I think it's a great, great watch for the vast majority of people. The user interface is really responsive, which is something that I care a lot about. I hate waiting. You can go from pressing a button on the watch to getting into a workout and actually recording in less than probably 10 seconds. I'm really happy they nailed that. Something I alluded to in the beginning, this is a true multi-sport watch. There's a full list of sports that it supports. The short version is pretty much any athletic endeavor I feel like Sunto has a sport profile for. So the point of a sport profile is basically you click one and the watch is gonna try to show you relevant information based off what it thinks you probably need based off what you're doing. Sunto has always done a really good job of customization and this watch supports everything. And especially when you compare it to Garmin's offerings at the 300-ish dollar price point, they're really just selling running watches like the 235. So this guy being a full triathlon watch, multi-sport watch, a uh, pretty serious competitor to Garmin in that regard. I'm just gonna gloss over the sensors really quick. The short version is it's a Bluetooth smart device and it will connect to power meters and running sensors and all that. Uh, list is on the screen right there, so if you have something in particular that you need, check it out. The trainer is a 24-7 fitness and activity and sleep tracker as well. If it's something you care about, the watch does have that. This one will also tell you your average steps over the last seven days, heart rate over a 24 hour period. With the latest update, it can actually track your sleep as well and tell you how many hours you're getting um, an estimate and if you're meeting your targets for recoveries. I still don't think it's quite up to the level of like the Garmin Phoenix 5, but that's a watch that's almost twice as much money. So battery life is always kind of hard to talk about because it depends so much on what you're doing 
broadly speaking, this watch is rated at about 10 hours. In my use case, that's been pretty accurate. Depending on what your goals are, honestly, that might not be enough for you because 10 hours is not long enough for a full Ironman triathlon. You can always not use the watch during the swim. Just turn it on once you get into the bike and the run. For the majority of people, especially if you're just using this as a training tool, wouldn't be a problem at all. So the trainer does have a vibration alert, which is super awesome. Watches that don't have that vibration motor, it's honestly often pretty hard to hear the little chime that's supposed to alert you. One of those little features, but I'm a big fan of it, and I'm really happy that they invested that little bit of money and they put that into the watch. So that is a ton of positive things in a row, but there's one feature that drives me crazy. I think you actually may have noticed it just looking at the footage. The screen can be pretty hard to see. My old Ambit 3, I can always see the screen in any lighting condition. If the Spartan Trainer, as well as some other color watches, including ones from Garmin, the Spartan Ultra series, it's just not as easy to see. And it's really annoying because I know that manufacturers are putting these color displays in because they look great in photographs and people think color displays and they're like, yay, that's awesome. But the reality is in a lot of lighting conditions, they are harder to see. I don't think that that's something that should prevent people from getting this watch, especially because at this point, color displays using pretty much this technology are across the board. Something I think we're just gonna have to get used to. I did want you to be aware of it because that was definitely a big change for me coming from that ambit. One of the things that I did find that worked really well for me was leaving the backlight on, but that is gonna reduce your battery life. For me, I tend to use this more as a training aid, not so much during races, so it wasn't a real problem. There is an automatic mode where it'll turn on when you press a button, but when you press a button, it changes the display field because none of these buttons is just a backlight button. The reality is, the display is not as clear as these ads that you see. Would it stop me from buying the device? Definitely not. And the reality is it's not a problem which just Sunto has, so I think we all just kind of have to live with it now. So overall, I think it's pretty clear that I'm a big fan of this watch. I think the vast majority of people who are looking for something in that $300-ish range, beginner to intermediate triathletes, are either gonna end up with this or something equivalent from Garmin. So really happy to see Sunto putting out great products again, and I hope the trend continues. You guys are on Justin Does Triathlon. I totally thank you for your time watching this. If you liked it, I would super appreciate it. If you subscribe to the channel or like the video, and if you've used this, I would love your thoughts as well because it is a new watch and I think a lot of people are getting it out uh, right now. And I'm curious if anyone else has any differing opinions or anything like that. If you do decide to go ahead and order the watch, there's some Amazon links below. If you use those, it doesn't cost you anything more than if you just buy it on Amazon normally but it would give me a couple dollars, which I would totally appreciate because it takes a long time to actually make these reviews. I would super appreciate that. You're on Justin Does Triathlon, and my goal is to help new and intermediate triathletes get out there, feel super confident, and just go run their races and achieve their goals. I hope you come back. There's a ton of reviews and tips coming down the pipeline as well. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody. Go do some awesome training. See ya.